What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys episode 9 of my two-week Titan series. So as you guys saw I'm at 4340 trophies only 60 trophies away from Titan 2 which is a pretty big accomplishment so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get 60 trophies today and uh, see if I can storm my way up to 4400 trophies. So the first base here is actually a freebie seeing as the town halls on the outside and I actually ran into a couple freebies today but later in the video there are some huge whales that I'm going to show you guys uh, but let's go ahead and start off with this one right here so obviously this guy's town hall is on the outside and he actually did have a little bit more trophies so I wanted to get a second star and like I've told you guys whenever I go for the second star in the town halls on the outside I just spread my troops out as far as possible and it usually works pretty much every single time to get 50% honestly if you wanted to get 50% and never lose a raid up here you probably could just by using your golem spread out uh, really far along the base with a ton of wizards and stuff like that but obviously everyone wants to go for two stars and uh, that's what I did here and I ended up getting to 50% so I activated my queen's ability. She's going to go ahead and shoot down the army camp right there. I also held on to the free spell because I didn't want to waste anything. So I got eight trophies in total. Not bad at all. And I got an additional four trophies for dropping my troops and uh, destroying the rest of the base. All right. So we have one more free base right here before we get into the whales. Again, town halls on the outside. And I feel like this is a pretty simple one to get 50% uh, against as well. So I'm just going to drop all five of my golems because, again, I have been bringing one inside of my clan castle. And I'm just going to spread, start spreading some of my troops out, drop my wizards, drop my heroes drop my P.E.K.K.A. and uh, those guys should run around the base and do plenty of damage. I haven't failed against a base like this yet trying to get that second star and I hope it never happens seeing as it's pretty clear cut what I do. I just spread my stuff out and it usually works. Uh, so yeah, 28% making our way up to 50 and I think we shouldn't really have any problems here. So as far as base searching goes in Titan 3, I'm actually having a little bit better luck than I was up in like champion one. So you guys remember when I was at 3,900 trophies, there were two episodes where I got 40 trophies and 60 trophies respectively. I've actually been getting a lot more trophies up in Titan three, which is sort of weird. Um, but it seems like I'm starting to get these big, huge trophy offers that you don't get up in champion one. Actually, you really don't get them, I guess, up, up until the top of champion one around 4,050 trophies. And once I hit there, it's been a lot better. And even though I don't find as many base, the bases that I find are super quality, especially with one like th ones like this. So let's go ahead and attack this guy who's also up in Titan 3 and uh, see if we can take him out. So first things first, this is actually a pretty unique base design. I haven't seen this one before. And when I say unique, I don't necessarily mean it's good because normally he's expecting people to attack from the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to attack from the bottom. I'm going to drop all my troops on the top. I'm going to wait for my golem. So you can see how far I made my... Um, my uh, wall breakers blow up the walls because I wanted my golems to run back to the air defense in the center. Then I would drop my jump spell and you can see that the golems are going to jump straight into the center of the base. So if you're a crafty raider, this is a pretty um, easy base to get around to get your golems to go in the center along with the rest of your troops. Double fr One free spell froze both of the inferno towers, which is pretty great as well. And uh, this one's going to be a steamroll and I don't see any way in which I can't get two stars on this raid. Again, a lot of bases that you guys might see have it make it tempting for you to attack through the bottom, but I'd say 80% of the time, it's always better to attack through the top and avoid a, more, a majority of the defenses along the way. So things are looking good. I didn't even have to deal with the heroes when I took out the town hall, which is another positive. Uh, things are solid. I'm at 46%, only a couple more percentage points. I still have my queen's ability left, so really not too much of an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that now, and she's gonna clean it up with a couple more buildings at the end. So again, another victory up in Titan three. This one was 13 trophies, not really that bad at all. Um, I'll definitely take that. I think it had somewhere around 20 available. Let's check out this next guy here though, who is all the way up in Titan one. So I'm in Titan three. This guy in Titan 1. Right when I saw this guy, I knew I was definitely going to have a chance to get a massive amount of trophies as long as I didn't fail the raid. All right, so notice that I used some wall breakers right there. And the reason I use wall breakers, some a small tip for you guys using jump spells, you see the compartment where I just all dro I dropped all of my troops in? My jump spell actually won't fit across that compartment, seeing as he has, um, I guess, like four spots or I guess pixels of grass you guys know what I'm talking about four spots of grass in length my jump spell actually isn't long enough um, to make my troops drop or jump across jump across both layers of walls so that's why I dropped my wall breakers first but I actually dropped another perfect set of wall breakers after that and I didn't have to use my jump spell until the center of the base uh, which wasn't a huge priority for me again I've told you guys before my queen should be able to shoot over the top but it was a nice luxury and uh, things worked out really well 
And actually, I just remembered for this raid, I dropped both of my jump spells on the left and top hand side. So I didn't even use a jump spell for the center of the base. I just used it for my golems that were on the left and top, and it made it that much easier for me to store my way into the base. So pretty really, or actually a really solid raid here, especially going against a fully maxed out base and a guy in Titan 1 who obviously probably knows what he's doing with his defense, but I ended up destroying it, getting 60% before I ended my battle, 32 trophies stolen for that raid. It was a huge offer, somewhere around 50-something trophies, I think, um, maybe actually like 48 or 49, so a huge offer, and believe it or not, two minutes later, I found another big offer attacking this guy right here, uh, Kennen23, so back-to-back -back huge trophy offers. I hadn't found a base for like two hours, and then I found these two guys back-to-back, and then I searched another two hours and couldn't find anything. But sometimes you just get hit with a crazy amount of luck. And I was tweeting it like crazy on Twitter. All right, so things are looking good right now. This is a base design. When I see it, I just really don't understand what people are doing. Because there's no place to put your giant bombs inside of the base. Which means my wizards are just going to go crazy. And one mistake you guys might have noticed is that I didn't pop my Barbar Barbarian King's ability. And for a good base, I'd say that's going to set you back pretty far. But seeing as I wasn't worried about this guy's base, is all, base at all, because I knew my wizards would have plenty of time to do damage, it actually really didn't matter that much in the grand scheme of the raid. So again, I had an almost useless Barbarian King do nothing for the entire raid, and I still ended up getting the Town Hall pretty easily, and I'm sitting at 41% for the raid. So it might be a little bit tricker, trickier to get two stars seeing as I didn't have my king, plus my queen's being an idiot and chasing down the barbarian king. So what I'm going to do is I actually save this jump spell by using my wall breakers, and I'm going to use the jump spell to let my golems jump over and attack that cannon right here. So this actually turned out to be pretty big saving uh, that jump spell, because without it, my golems wouldn't have been able to distract that cannon and eventually destroy that cannon and uh, you can see they're tanking it up for my wizard who eventually is going to take down that gold mine right there and i also had an archer uh, shooting down the air sweeper on the bottom so back to back huge trophy raids i got 32 for the last one 31 for this one and i got 63 trophies in the matter of five minutes which was insane and i ended up at 4422 trophies for the day i was actually at 4442 before someone attacked me um and ended up stealing 20 trophies for me which was my biggest loss yet so I'm actually going to redesign my base and then probably in the next episode um, to try to fend off attackers seeing as putting my town hall on the outside I don't think it's going to work too effective too much or uh, too uh, yeah that effectively anymore um, seeing as I'm getting much higher up in the trophies so that's going to do it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it some really really awesome rating today I made it all the way up to Titan 2 all the way up to 4,442 trophies before I lost 20 on defense. I'm going to keep pushing, and I really hope you guys are enjoying this series because I'm actually having a surprising amount of fun uh, pushing my way up through Titan. So that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.